thinking of these Z drugs, one of the things is when they came out, um, it was originally thought that they were the magic pill, the solution to benzos, because um, benzos like Valium come with a whole host of issues around dependence, um, physical and psychological dependence, so once you start taking them, you need to take more to get the same effect. Um, and originally it was thought that the Z drugs didn't have those issues, but what we've discovered over time is that there have been more and more cases reported of people having both physical and psychological dependence to Z drugs, finding it really hard to get off, needing to increase the dose. One of the advantages of these medications over the conventional sleeping tablets, such as the, the Valium class of medications, is that they do not have any uh, muscle relaxant effects. Uh, they don't uh, inhibit the breathing, which can be an important issue in overdose of these medications. Uh, they have no anti-epilepsy effects, uh, and conventional sleeping tablets can be used to, to manage epilepsy as well as sleep disorder. And importantly, they don't have other effects on mood, such as um, uh, in reducing anxiety. And so they don't uh, conventionally get used as an anti-anxiety medication. So they are much more targeted to initiation and maintenance of sleep. So therefore, sleep onset and sleep maintenance in insomnia conditions. Because they're more specific, uh, therefore, in theory, they have less side effects. And as a result, they are you know, people do tend to wake up feeling a little less groggy on these medications. Uh, and that is preferable. We don't want hangover effects the next day. But they may not necessarily be um, that much better than some of the shorter-acting historic sleeping tablets, one in particular temazepam, which is very short-acting. There's no head-to-head -head comparisons. Uh, but certainly the... The selective nature of these medications means that they are safer, certainly in overdose.